Hello everyone! In today's video we decided to reflect on our journey. Since we have a lot of new people on the channel we decided to reintroduce ourselves. So my name is Ilya and I'm a travel nurse. That's what I do on the road. I was a nurse before and we just took that as an opportunity to get on the road and start RVing. And I'm Nadia and if you're new to this channel and have or haven't had a chance to subscribe, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the little bell next to it so you'll get notified every time our video comes out and it comes out every Sunday. We have three kids. We have Jaden, Ben and Daria and they will keep you on your toes and we also have a dog named Ruby and she cannot control her liquor. She <laughs> is really sweet but she could be really upfront and personal. <laughs> We've been on the road for over 10 months now and we drove over 10,000 miles, visited 18 states, and a bunch of friends and family. During that time, we've learned a lot, and we also made some mistakes. So today, we have top five things that we've learned. And if you're an RV newbie like we were, then hopefully you can learn from us. Number one, be flexible. Um, when you're planning and you're going RV and you have everything mapped out and sometimes things just don't go as you plan. Sometimes things happen, sometimes it might be the weather, in our case it was a truck a lot of times. So just be flexible and enjoy every day. Remember it's not about destination, it's the journey. So try to enjoy every day with whatever it brings you. One uh, first example that comes to mind, we were stuck in Fillmore, Utah because the truck that we had, the radiator blew, we were losing fluid and it just happened that we were next to this town, found good mechanic. But beside the point, we probably would have just drive right past and we would never know what's there. But we ended up staying there a whole week and there was so much to do. We explored the area, we rented an ATV. Uh, we hiked, we found out the history. Apparently Fillmore was supposed to be a capital of Utah before Salt Lake. Would never know that. Uh, and our son Benny, he actually started his rock collection there. And right up here we'll link a video to Fillmore, Utah. Number two is don't be in a rush. Now this is a biggie. <laughs> because when you're in the rush, uh, you get desperate. And that's where you make mistakes. At least we did. Um, so we've learned to slow down and uh, take it a little easier. So for example, we bought a truck in Texas. And as you probably know, if you've seen our previous videos, this was a terrible purchase. <laughs> but beside the point, we really wanted to get back on the road. And we were kind of desperate. And I attempt to trust people a lot. So when you in a position like that, just take somebody else with you that could think a little bit more clearly or take it to the mechanic that somebody can look it over and kind of give you uh, another opinion. So just value somebody else's opinion when you in a situation like that. A lot of times now, if we feel that we're in the rush and we want to get on the road, we just remind ourselves that you got to slow down. You don't have to be there tomorrow per se. So we just get things done or we slow down. Or if there is traffic, we just decide to have lunch because that's the beauty of RV. Your house is always with you. So you could just pull over, have lunch, and wait, wait out the traffic or the bad weather and just move on safely. Number three, make friends with strangers. Yeah, we're people. We're made for relationships. And when you're on the road, especially when you're just starting out, you might feel lonely. It's just your family. You don't know anybody. You, know, you see another full-time family, come up and say hello. You never know where you're going to meet literally friends for life. Um, for example, we were in Florida at the campground for three months last year. And for a whole month, I was lonely because I didn't have the guts to come up to some of the people and say hello. I was too shy and I'm sure they were shy too that's why they didn't come up to me and we met some really good people but they were leaving like literally the next day I could have met her before a month before and I would have had a friend for a whole month so be the first one to come up and say hello yeah I feel like that's a really good one there's a lot of cool people out there 
Number four, start with where you are. There is a lot of things that you could buy as ac accessories to an RV and then solars and all this other stuff. Don't be overwhelmed with all of that. You don't need to have all of that before you go RVing. So really start with where you are, what you have, whatever you do for a job. A lot of times you could take that on the road with you. So when we started this trailer was just as basic as it kind of comes from a factory. Uh, it only had that 12 volt marine battery and it was working out for us just fine because we were stationary for three months. As we continued to move on, we realized, well, we need more battery. So then we went to two six volt batteries, which is the cheapest next upgrade you can make. But it's working out great for us because we have enough power for three days and that's all we really need. Eventually we bought a generator and now if we need to charge things or uh, plug in uh, our Instapot, stuff like that, it's working out great. But we still don't feel like we need to have that expensive solars, uh, which would be great, but honestly, that would be a waste of money for us. So what I'm trying to say with all of this, you don't know what's going to be your style of RV. You might like staying in an RV park more versus boondocking. Other people might like boondocking. So start with where you are and you could make upgrades as you go because a lot of times all of these gadgets they cost a lot of money and it could be kind of overwhelming number five last but not least record your memories when we first started the youtube channel we wanted to do it just for us for our own memories and we knew how much work it's going to be to edit one even a 10 minute video it takes a long time and if we wouldn't be committed to putting the video out there every single Sunday, I would have a pile of unedited footage that would just sit there and collect dust. It's intimidating to put yourself and your family out there, but think of everybody who you are inspiring. Don't worry about the negative comments. The haters will hate. But it's almost selfish to keep all of your travels to yourself. Right? Absolutely, yeah. A lot of people, they just can't go out, um, so they will see this through your eyes so if you can go traveling then hop in the truck and go with us and we would love to take you on the journey with us but if we could inspire one person to go out and see what how beautiful america is and everything that god created here that would be awesome we would love to see you on the road and comment below we would like to hear you and meet you so next week we're starting season two so we'll share with you a little bit more then of what we're doing what are our plans and by the way, we don't exactly have a five-year plan where we're heading, but we're just taking a day at a time. But next week, season two. We are so thankful to God that uh, we are able to do this, and we've learned so much since we started. So we want to wish everybody happy Thanksgiving, have some good turkey. And be grateful for everything that you have. Exactly. See you.